Well, that's it for the RV project. You can see the stripe is uh, done. The graphic looks nice. And I'm really happy with this all the way around. There's a few slip-ups, and I've got some cleaning up to do. Some dust and such. But all in all, this came out really nice. And you remember this graphic, how ugly it was. Look at it with that sun shining on it, that beautiful cherry paint. That's actually garnet, ruby garnet. And that's pretty much it today. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed my video, I'd appreciate it if you'd uh, give me a thumbs up. I know I'm not the best of camera persons, but I do try hard. And I don't have a lot of subscribers for this channel, but if you're inclined to watch my videos, I'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe. It makes me look like a bigger deal than I really am. And I appreciate particularly anybody who's following my uh, ring finder adventures because those are truly fun. And it's something that, that I really enjoy doing. It's hard to make a video of the ring finding adventures and I wish I had made more of them. But uh, if ever you lose anything, you know what to do. You call a ring finder. Have a great day. Thank you for watching. Hey folks, got a project today. I'm uh, repainting the stripe on my motorhome. It's a good old motorhome. And it's in pretty good shape. But its stripe is faded, especially the red one. So I'm going to start with the red one today. And I'm going to try and fix it so that it doesn't look like this. As you can see, it's that way all the way around. There's none on the front. There's no red. But on the sides, red is always a problem. Red fades. And this faded poorly. And you can see it's crazed and... It's not the best looking of stripes. So that's what we're gonna try and fix. And I'm gonna set up a camera and let you take a look at what I'm doing. I'm trying to just tape it off right now. And then I'm going to take some spot putty and work on those uh, craze marks. I'm gonna do the back too. But I'm starting on this side. I'm getting good at putting this tape on. But I can see that uh, I'll be thankful if I can get the uh, one side done today. Hold on, I'm going to set up a camera and you can get an idea of what it looks like.
Well, here we have it, folks. Here's the end of it.
We put two coats of paint on this side. And tomorrow I'll put on a third. And that'll make it the same as the other side. I think it looks pretty nice. I use three cans on the other side, and this isn't uh, quite the same. Yep, that was the ice cream man, and we missed him. Shucks. Maybe the next time around. There we have it. On this side, I did the piece on top too. On the other side, it hadn't faded, so I left that. So it does add another color variant to our combination. But this looks real good. It'll stand up to close scrutiny. And if anybody touches it, well, they'll find out it's pretty smooth if they dare touch it. So that's it folks, we're, we're watching paint dry here on the side of the motor home. As exciting as that is, it's just hard to get over. So let's switch around to the other side and look at dry paint. It's just not a bad motor home. Oh well. body wise but that decal was so faded now you can see on this side this looks pretty good so here we have it folks the final reveal nice crisp lines nice new looking stripe it's a nice paint color when the paint hits it it just shines uh, a ruby red. I'm very happy with it. And as you can see, it does have a really nice finish. Nice and crisp. No crazing like the old uh, stripe. Took years off the uh, look of the coach took me honestly I put three days into this and uh, quite a few cans of paint it, it took three cans per side and then I did the back and I used a fourth can in experimenting on one of the sides. So all together eight cans of paint. Mm, two cans of primer, two rolls of tape, and a lot of masking paper. But it wasn't that expensive and I got good results. You can too. Hope this helps and have a beautiful day. Well, when I started this video, people asked me, who's going to watch a video about painting a stripe? Like, we can watch paint drying anywhere, Dan. Well, we'll add just a little section here for those critics who want to watch paint drying. Here it is in action. And when that paint dries, we're going to come back and take that paper off. But until then, maybe we can get real detailed. You can see 
that's fresh paint drying. You can smell it. Well, enough of that. 